Hi, Prince and Princesses. I'm Auntie Kay, and this is our children's Sabbath school program. And guess what? You are welcome to come along with me. Good morning, good morning to you, my Prince and Princesses all around the world. Mwah. Pleasant, happy Sabbath to you, and welcome to the NTK Children's Sabbath School program. We're on lesson five, but I'll be right back after our welcome. Hello and welcome to NTK Children's Sabbath School program, where Prince and Princess all around the world get to enjoy and learn about the love of God. Through sign language, messages with Princess Malaray, character teachers from Nails, Nature Nuggets, Sing Along Time, Very Versus, Story Hill with Princess Da Vinci, test your knowledge with Quiz Kids, hashtag Puzzle Fun, enjoy object lessons with Auntie Patty Pat, Bible questions with Ask Pastor Nasa, great crafty crafts and good yummy goodness with the girls' tasty treats. So, no matter where you're living on this great big planet, you are welcome to participate, enjoy and share. Yes, we live far and wide, but God's love connects us, no matter how you look, where you're from, the color of your skin, or even your culture, welcome! I absolutely love that welcome because it says exactly what the NTK Children's Sabbath School program is all about. The prince and princesses all around the world, no matter how you look, no matter where you're from, as long as you want to get involved in the program, you are definitely welcome. So I want to add my welcome to everyone who's watching at this time. You bigger kids, <laughs> thank you for watching it also. I hope you all had a great week. Now, we're on lesson five already. Wow, 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 wow. But at this time, Princess Mallory, she's coming to share with us our message for the day. Our message for the day is up with Princess Mallory. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Let's find together. Knowing, trusting, Obeying God Change is my life It's now time to go before our Father in prayer Happy Sabbath everyone! Welcome to NTK Sabbath School program My name is Nala Sira and I'm from Belize Now let's bow our heads, close our eyes and pray Thank you Lord for this beautiful Sabbath morning and thank you for Auntie Kay's ministry. Bless all those who are watching. Just let me pray. Amen. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Thank you, Princess Mallory. And thank you to my beautiful princess who lives in Belize for our opening prayer. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you so much. And at this time, Prince Niall, he's waiting to share with us our animal for today with Niall's nature nuggets man house flies have got to be the most annoying creatures but do you know that they can also be amazing character teachers and here's what they can teach us number one never let your guard down guys know the danger is just around the corner so they never let down the guard they are always alert in case they need to fly away quickly do you know that like the housefly a predator is always waiting to destroy us that's the devil like the housefly we should always be alert and lean on jesus to deliver us Number two, things are not always what they seem. Do you know that the eyes of a fly is one quarter of the size of its body? It has sensitive big eyes that allow it to see really well. But flies sometimes try to fly through glass because they can't see it. We are sometimes like that as humans. We cannot see past what's in front of us. This is why we need God to guide us because things are not always what they seem. Number three, be persistent. Flies are the most pesky and persistent creatures. No matter how many times you shoot it away from you, 
it comes right back. Are you this persistent for the things you want? Do you allow life situations to show you away easily? Be persistent. Weird, right? Houseflies are amazing character teachers. Houseflies, y'all, houseflies, they are the most annoying things in life. But God and all his, his, his intelligence and all his power and all his knowledge knows that, hey, that we could learn a thing or two from those pesky little things. Thank you, Niall, for sharing with us those important points that we could learn from Houseflies. Now, at this time, what's coming up? It's one of my favorites, and yes, it's time for... It's sing a loud time. But everyone, I'm Leighton. I live in the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. Join us as we sing our second song, Wild About You. Happy Sabbath!
And our third song in Sing A Long Time is coming to us from White River Children's SDA Choir all the way over there in Solomon Islands. And they'll be singing, Me Loving You, Jesus. <laughs> singing and praising and clapping and just saying lord i thank you because you know praise and worship is one of the ways we send up our thanks and exaltations to our heavenly father also yes and that's one of my favorite ways to exalt and just say thank you lord that's why i love to sing and i love to praise but at this time we're gonna hear our memory verse for lesson five <laughs> Kids. My name is Akasuka Ramasakura. I'm from Fiji. Today's memory verse is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. If anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The whole the old has gone, the new is here. Thank you. Thank you for repeating our memory verse for us. Thank you. And at this time, Princess Davincia, she's over at Story Hill waiting to share with us our Sabbath school story. Lesson five story. Princess Davincia, you're next. Hi, boys and girls. It's story time. The Make Believe Christian. Pierre and Marie caught a creepy crawly caterpillar and put it in a big glass jar. Marie added a little stick for it to crawl on. Each day, Pierre and Marie brought in leaves to feed it. One day, they watched the caterpillar wrap itself in silky threads. After a while, it was all covered up and hanging from the stick. Mother told them that the caterpillar was in a cocoon. After many days, Pierre and Marie saw something very special. The cocoon opened and out came a beautiful butterfly. What a change from the creepy crawly caterpillar. Our Bible story today tells about people. Some people who change 
for one man who didn't. Philip took a deep breath of the fresh early morning air. It was good to be alive. It was good to be working for the Lord. He looked around. The merchants were setting up their stalls in the marketplace. Soon, the women would begin shopping for the day. Many women smiled at Philip and greeted him as they passed. He smiled back. The city was a different place now. The people had listened carefully to the message Philip had preached. They had listened, believed, and were baptized. They had seen miracles done in the name of Jesus. Many, many evil spirits had been driven out of people, and many weak and crippled people had been healed. The town was different all right. People now had hope and joy and a reason for living. Philip glanced up and saw Simon approaching. Simon had lived in the city for a long time. He had been a magician amazing the people of Samaria with his tricks. If Samaria had had a television, Simon would have been a star. Simon had joined the crowds listening to Philip. He had seen the miracles. He wanted to be a part of this too. So Simon was baptized and stayed close to Philip. He was amazed at the great wonders and miracles that Philip did in Jesus' name. One day, Peter and John arrived from Jerusalem. Philip greeted them with big hugs. It was so good to see his brothers in the Lord. Peter and John joined Philip in his work. Together, they asked the Holy Spirit to come to the new believers just as he did in Jerusalem. Then, Peter and John laid their hands on the believers and the Holy Spirit came upon everyone except Simon. Simon thought this was the neatest trick he had ever seen. He wanted to lay his hands on people like that. He pulled Peter and John aside and showed them his big fat purse. He whispered, I can pay, give me this power too. You have no part or share in this ministry, Peter exclaimed. Your heart is not right before God. Repent of this wickedness and pray to the Lord. Perhaps he will forgive you for having such a thought. The Bible does not tell us what Simon did, but we know that Simon did not understand the gift of the Holy Spirit. He did not want the Holy Spirit to help him know God. He wanted the Holy Spirit so that he could have the power over other people. That's why he wasn't changed. Knowing God changes lives. Happy Sabbath! Thank you, Francis Devencia, for our story. Now, we know our message says that knowing, trusting God changes our lives. And that's what I learned from this week's lesson. That Philip, because he trusted God, and he, he dedicated his life to ministry, God changed the lives of so many persons around, around him in that city. Yes, and it's amazing. We're in the story, if you remember, it says that as Philip was walking through the marketplace, persons were smiling and greeting him because they saw from Philip a difference that they hadn't seen in anyone else. And guess what that was? The love of God pouring out of him. And I, I believe they wanted that same spirit on them. So that's what I learned, that knowing and trusting God definitely changes our lives. Mm -hmm. I hope those listening ears were really turned on and turned up because Quiz Kids is up next. Philip was in the blank. A. Marketplace, B. Temple, or C. Courtyard. A. Marketplace. Men and women blank at Philip and blank him as they passed by. A. Laughed and pointed, B. Shouted and accused, or C. Smiled and greeted. 
Sea smiled and greeted. Simon was a blank. Hmm. A. A priest, B. A magician, or C. A carpenter. B. A magician. Simon did not accept the Holy Spirit. Is this A. True or B. False? A. True. Hashtag puzzle fun. Hashtag puzzle fun is up next. The price of salvation puzzle. <laughs> Directions. Not everyone understood what Peter, Philip, and John were teaching. To find out the real lesson, write a letter above each symbol. Let's get started. G O D S G R A C E I S F R E and another E God's grace is free Prince and princesses I can't wait to see what Auntie Patty Pat is going to teach us this week for our object lesson. So up next is Auntie Patty Pat. Mm -hmm. Hey boys and girls, hello, hello. Do you see Auntie Patty Pat? And I am again in the mall in Santo Domingo, the 360 Gallerina Mall, where they have so many beautiful things on display. And today we're going to look on a strange fish. Do you see this fish over here? Do you know what it's made of? You would never believe it. Boys and girls, it's made up of empty old cans. Yes, they cut the cans off, then they squashed them flat, and they put them together. They even used old forks and old spoons and empty bottles. And they put them all together with spatulas. And together they came together. They came together, yeah, to make a beautiful fish. Now I know that when I love and trust and know God, that He too makes me into something beautiful. I'm not trash, but he makes me much more valuable than I am all on my own. Just like these empty things were created and put together to make a beautiful spectacle, that's what Jesus does in your life and in my life. So, when you know God by reading your Bible, going to church, talking to others about him, you always become a better and more beautiful person. Just like this fish made of old cans and bottles and forks and spoons, you name it. But God makes everything better. Thank you, Auntie Patty Pat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Auntie Patty Pat. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Auntie Patty Pat, for sharing with us with another awesome object lesson. That's an incredible fish, and to see they would have made it out of so many different materials. Thank you so much. Now, at this time, it's time to... Ask Pastor Nasa. Hello, Pastor Nasa. My name is Krista, and my sister is Orian. And today, it's question is, why did Jesus spend more time in heaven? Not earth. Amen. Au revoir. Au revoir. 
Hey, thank you so much for that question. It's a really good one. Well, you know, in the book of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 3, the Bible says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you can be also. You see, Jesus is spending time in heaven because he has gone to prepare a place for us. And while he is preparing that place for us, he's interceding on our behalf, ensuring that every time you need forgiveness or someone wants to come to him, he is ready and available to receive them unto himself. I'm so glad that God has made provision that Jesus himself is available to any boy and any girl who wants to give their lives to him. And he's preparing a special place for us to be with him. I want to go to heaven and live with Jesus. How about you? Until next time. My beautiful princess is all the way over there in France. Thank you for that question. And thank you so much, Pastor Nessa, for answering it. Thank you. Now my crafty crafters. Coming up next is Crafty Craft with Aunt Polly. Hello Crafty Crafters, here is one of the lame persons, Philip Hill. Here is the lame person laying down on his sick bed. And now he's going to take up his bed and walk. Thank you, Aunt Polly. Thank you, Aunt Polly. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know, last week we received um, so many pictures of persons doing the craft of Stephen, and it was just awesome. And this week I expect, both myself and Aunt Polly expect to see some more. Thank you for sending them in. Thank you for sending them in. Thank you so much, Aunt Polly. And thank you to my friends and princesses for enjoying it and also making your very own crafty crafts. Now at this time, Princess Tekel, she's waiting to share with us Tekel's tasty treats. I love spicy foods and I'm always trying new things to see how much spice I can handle. Last year, my mom introduced a spicy green leaf to the family, arugula. Today, we'll use it to create a spicy arugula salad. Let's get started. Our ingredients for today include craisins, toasted pecans, diced apples, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and arugula. You will also be needing two mixing bowls, thongs, and a whisk. We'll begin by combining our arugula, apples, craisins, and half of our pecans. Smaller bowl 
bowl, combine your balsamic vinegar and olive oil and mix them together. When done, drizzle your mixture on top of your salad. Finally, sprinkle the salad with the remaining pecans. Learning to balance our spice intake is very important, but allowing God to spiritually balance us is more important. We all continue to trust and obey God as we learn more about Him each day. Enjoy your spicy salad! Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. Thank you so much, Princess Tech Hell, for sharing with us that oh, great treat. Mm -hmm. You know, I would really love to see if my prince and princesses around the world, if you two are trying those treats, and I'm sure Princess Tech Hell would love to see if you are trying the recipes also. Thank you so much, my darling, terrific Tech Hell, with all those mwah, tasty treats. Thank you. And the program. Yes, it's coming to an end, but it's good news for me to tell you that I'll be right back here come next week, Sabbath, because you know what? I love spending this time with you. So until next week, I need you to be good boys and girls, good prince and princesses. I just need you to be what God wants us to be. And that means he wants us to be beautiful. And beautiful means is how we act, the words we say, the things we think, Mm -hmm. because our God loves beauty look at the world look at the flowers look at the, like he loves beauty and a beautiful attitude is something he wants for us to all have so let's be good boys and girls let's be beautiful in our actions this week you know what and forever until next week Sabbath I love you remember that God although he's everywhere he wants us to invite him into our hearts mm -hmm. until next week Mwah. Mwah, mwah. We're going to end with the Lord's Prayer. Let's close our eyes and clasp our hands. Mwah. Our Father in the heaven, how be my name. Thou kingdom come, thou will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Bye. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone. And we'll see you all again next week.